My comeback and this video were made possible by RSH eSports company. You can read more about it in the description below. What's up guys, it's me Janne here back again for another video and in today's video I will be explaining pretty much how to do rallies on the Richard Burns Rally Tech plugin or also known as the tournament plugin. Let's jump into it. Alright, here we are on the tech plugin site, also known as the tournament plugin. And uh, what we need to do to create tournaments is to go to the tournaments uh, tab and obviously you need to be logged in like I am here and then you need to be uh, one of those people who have already uh, donated 8 euros to the plugin which can be accessed through this donations tab. You need to down, uh, donate, let's see actually, you need to do on these server running costs here and uh, yeah you do not donate eight euros and then you can create tournaments as we can see here it says create new tournament first page is uh, basically all the basic stuff of this uh, tournament for example name this will be Janne's super nice rally and then you can write the description i think it was html coded this one so if you want to put links or what not you need to put it with html code if i remember correctly if i'm completely talking shit, please let me know in the comments below but yeah i'll look right and write a description about the rally And then we choose stages. What should we select? We're going to make a nice rally out of this, so only nice stages. Uh, we're going to begin with Halenkovic, and then we're going to take um, what else? This is going to be Tarmac Rally, by the way. It's going to be Sphinx. Yeah, I don't know, I'm going to get pummeled for. <laughs> not pronouncing it properly then we have pretty luck and then there's going to be service that i decided about in my all greatness then we have perigrosse lucerum and uh one more stage i reckon um actually let's head to here and put Capo di Feno as a final stage. Then we have a six stage uh, a stage list and obviously you can't, you need to select the stage here and then press this button here to move it there. As we can see another Capo di Feno arrived there and you can't change the order of these stages here, which is a bit of a shame or at least I haven't found out how to use, use that, but you can select any stage and you can just remove it for example this capo di feno here we select it highlight it and then we press here and now it's gone next up when we are done with the stage selection we need to select when it opens and here we have this a blank equals now so when we do this the rally will start immediately after the after the creation process is done and here we have our finishing finishing time as well and uh, then we have a few options can't return tournament if we click it on uh, if you if your computer crashes or some other reason you need to ask for reset you have to start from the very beginning of the rally instead of if you have it unclicked you can resume the rally from where you last crashed off or where you what you last drove like for example on our rally if someone's computer would crash after perigrosse while loading lucerum they would then be able to continue to lucerum and not having to drive all the stages again but someone this guy uh, put accidentally this one on for the Yokobank 1000 fakes rally so if you had a computer issue of any sorts you had to drive the entire leg again and uh, yeah that was a bit of a bummer that was my bad so to say then only one car obviously checked uh, you can only use one car or if you want to 
less people have multiple cars in the rally, then you can leave it unchecked. But we're going to check this. I uh, don't show splits whether or not people are seeing the split times on the stages when it's clicked. They don't see the split times. Same here. If you click this one, you don't see the results after each stage in which depends rally. And same here for the website. But obviously, when you have driven the rally, you can see the results on the website. Saving replies on, require stage comments on. Uh, this is testing. Uh, this one, if you click it, it won't be visible on the rallies results or whatnot, won't be visible on your profile on the on the on the tournament plugin site itself. So usually when you just use some make some test events to access those online only stages, you might want to do this. And then password protected. Uh, oh shit! Now we are showcasing some of our very very secret uh, secret passwords. But yeah, if you click this, then you have to put some passwords. Let's put penis because that's always fun. And if we click legs here, then we can select legs or not. I will showcase that as well as a part of this presentation and uh but we will we will just show it but on the final rally there would be no legs because legs for six stage rally please and then we have registration deadline and uh, registration required and then you can set number of hours until this register until before the rally when the registration closes and that's what we usually do on uh, on those special events so we can get all those starting lists and whatnot and people have to enroll and then on super rally penalties you can have one minute two minutes three minutes or five minutes for each on a driven stage and um, that's the first the first split so to say then we have all these uh, all these licenses that we could select but i'm not a license holder i'm not able to select i'm not able to select any of the licenses that who gets a license for for example elark or old rally or some others and then we decide cars from here we have the easiest one is just to get all ngp cars and then click here and all the cars are there and just like on the stage selection this is our magic undo button and uh, but here it works a bit differently if we select this car for c3 wrc and then press here everything else but the selected goes away so uh let's just go like that and now we have an empty empty uh selection again and here on this rally we're gonna have rgts and we're gonna have group four and group two and we're gonna we're gonna take away the Audi Quattro. We're gonna make this just a rear wheel drive rally. So now the Audi Quattro goes away. And then before you move on to the next one, you also oh, and you can select multiple by holding Control. Click one, then hold Control and click through the rest of them. I mean, this is basic computer knowledge, but good to tell everyone about it. So you need to also select the physics over here before you can move up to the next. And then it is just very, very basic stuff. Uh, this is very, very unrelevant for this one car only things because it just doesn't matter at all. I should test it sometimes if you could like force a specific car for some stage or not, but I don't know. Haven't haven't looked into that yet. And here we can change the stage name. For example, we can have this just be Halenkovic. And then there's the surface type, edge of surface. Um, most, if not all, tarmac stages always use the new one. And then textures, do not check, and weather back, do not check. Always leave them as it is. And uh, then we click on these question marks here. It opens us all the allowed combinations for the specific stage so for example we want a crisp partially cloudy 
uh, the stage. So we click here, double click here, and then you can see morning crisp, clear, partially cloudy, not clear what I'm talking about. When you click on one of the weather settings here, this comes here. So we need to put it again to do not check. And then we have service area upper opportunities 5, 10, 15, 20, 30, 60 and 90. And these will be, for example, if we want after this stage, we select it for stage number one, that service area after stage. And then we put ranging from 5 to 90, but we won't use services here yet. Tire type change allowed. And if you unclick it, you can choose the tires that everyone will use on this uh, stage or leg. Uh, for example, we could be total digs and put snow tires for everyone. And uh, as long as this is unchecked, this box, it won't be available to choose for everyone but for themselves. But if we tick this box now, it will show the snow tires by default in the game, but they can choose it themselves. But let's go to dry tarmac. Uh, here we have different damages. I usually go with realistic or reduced, safe and off are just lame. And here also you can allow people to change the damage, but doesn't really make sense. And shortcuts ch checking either low or on some stages it's available as none as well. And all, also always best to have it as none because those automatic checks do bring some weird as time penalties and then you have to fiddle with them. And uh, last four bits here, allow super rally on this stage. If you click yes, if you crash uh, terminally on this stage, you can continue to the next super rally or you will retire and you can continue from the next super rally. A continuation point which will be let's click that here and then uh, this super super rally hold stage are set uh, if I were to click here now you would be able to continue after this first stage with the super rally but I'm not clicking it we're gonna have super rally at the middle of the rally so I'll be needing to click it on the third stage and then we have a repeat stage. Basically, if we click this, apart from few, uh, apart from few, very very specific instances, you can repeat the stage on pretty much any stage in tournaments. You can just click this box, and then you exit or retire on the stage, and you will be moved back to the start or to the previous service area of the stage. So you can change the Oh, not the service area, but you know, the menu before the stage. So you can change setup probably and tires and all that. But we're gonna not allow it. And then setup change, yes or no. Obviously at the start of each loop or leg or whatever. Yes, but not maybe on every stage. Uh, and then we move to next stage. No need to rename this. And again, we go through the question marks and here we have plenty of options, but we will go with no rain light cloud and also all these time of days that are not morning noon or evening any other variant like late morning late noon late evening those will be on the o skybox and morning will be with the m skybox noon will be with n and evening with e and everything else with o skybox just a heads up for those who want to do recce for for those stages that are not available offline. But yeah, we're gonna go with no rain, light clouds, and uh, do not check, keep it dry and new, no service. And now as this is second stage of the lag, it would be silly to have these on. We won't allow uh, tires type change, and uh, if they're still only low, and uh, we allow super rally, and we don't allow setup change, and we move to stage number three which is Puy de Lac, again through the question marks. Um, Puy de Lac has some weird things going on here, so we're just going to go with morning crisp part cloud. I mean, there's some texture fix or something, but it tends to not work unless all the drivers have, or well, the driver in question hasn't downloaded this, so we're just not going to use them, and we're going to use morning time of day instead. So do not check. And now we are having 
minute service. We're going to put a 90 minute service because we are feeling very generous. And now when you click to have a service, then this opens up. You can either allow or not allow uh, drivers to try change their tires at service area. And we're going to keep it clicked or checked and then they can. And uh, again, low and all that and allow super rally in the stage yes and super rally hold stage are tet uh, people will continue from after this stage stage number four perigrosse mandigood again starting from the question marks crisp part cloud we're not going to do any rain this is a nice rally then we move it back to do not check and as this is after service we will allow tire change, we will allow setup change. And this has now ended our this has now ended our super rally. After this one I'm being a cruel prick and I won't allow anyone to have super rallies anymore. And as we selected two legs. Now as we want the leg two to start from stage four onwards, we need to select two here. We've left it as one on the previous stages, stages one to three. And um, yeah, that's it. It's simple. Then again, start with question marks. There's only two here that are allowed. Crisp, clear morning. Yep. Because it's good to go through the question marks because there's all the choices available. And I'm not sure if it's always giving you an error if it's not one of these or not. Sometimes it is, but I, I'm not sure if it's always giving you an error if you try to put a not allowed, uh, not allowed setting for for the weather and textures and whatever. And then, as this is mid leg, we're not going to allow setup change or tire change still on low and final stage Capo di Feno again it starts from the question mark well this is easy only morning crisp clear available low shit I chose bad stages because you have no stages whatsoever to where you can have none it's always good to have none remember that and all these unchecked and then we move to next if you have a non-legged rally, uh, after pressing next after the final stage, it would just create a rally. But now, as we are here, uh, it will. Now we can choose the uh, stage uh, dates for the legs. For example, we could put fifteenth and uh, like eleven, and then this would continue on sixteenth for no reason at 16.00 and then we would press save but as I won't have legs on this rally I won't go there I will soon undo the leg thing and just have it as a one uh, as a rally that is driven on one sitting but uh, yeah I think that is quite the ins and outs of the tournament creation in the tech plugin and there we have it. That is pretty much how you create rallies in the tournament plugin or the tech plugin. They go by the same name if you haven't realized it already. And if you haven't, I'm quite worried for your uh, logical uh, abilities. But uh, yeah, that is all for now. Thank you guys ever so much for watching. I'll see you again today with a stream of Ihan Tavallinen Rallisarja, the season opener Castrol Janner Rally. And that's going to be amazing. I'm going to be wheeling the escort through the stages. That's going to be proper, proper good fun. And then I'll see you again on Sunday for the first leg of Old Rally, Rally Monte Carlo. Going to be a nice week ahead. Thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you later. Bye.